हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज़ फरा बतूल एंड वेलकम टू द कोर्स ऑफ ओ लेवल कंप्यूटर साइंस सो टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी एन अदर मैथड ऑफ एरर डिटेक्शन राइट एंड दैट इज द चेक डिजिट ओके सो मूविंग टुवर्ड्स चेक डिजिट Okay, so we have already covered the parity checks in my previous video, and in this video we are going to see the check digits, right? So it's a method, it's an error detection method that is used uh, in order to verify that the data that has been entered or transmitted is correct or not, right? It's an error detection method. Okay, so. Uh, let me tell you some of the points or some of the things about this particular method. The very first thing is that in this method you are going to have a one check digit, right? You have a data and a digit, a check digit that is going to be calculated by using that data, right? Let's suppose I am having. um let me write this sentence i am saying that the digit the digit or the check digit will be calculated from the data right is calculated from the data right from the data it means that if i am having some data digits like uh 1 3 5 these are my data digits then i am going to have another digit that is my check digit and this particular check digit is calculated by using these digits right 1 3 5 let's suppose i say that my check digit will be the sum of the digits in the data right let's suppose this is the rule or this is the pro, uh, method that i have used in order to um, calculate this check digit let's suppose i say if uh, the check digit in this particular example will be the sum of the digits in my data so 135 so the check digit will be the sum of these data digits that are 135 it's equals to 9 right so what would be the check digit over here 9 right so uh, this is the check digit right and this is going to tell us that the data that has been transmitted or entered is either correct or not right okay now uh, the second point is that the check digit is appended or is added to the data right it is added to the data to the data so when you are entering the data you are going to uh, add this particular digit as well because it is added into your data right it is appended uh, appended means it is added at the end of your data right so this is important point over here that your check digit is the part of your data or it is simply appended or written after your data digits right okay now the third thing is that um digit is recalculated when data is entered this particular digit check digit uh is calculated by your machine or your computer when the number has been entered calculated when data is entered is entered right the computer let's suppose uh this is my this is my sender the sender has sent the particular uh number that is 1359 right this is the data that has been sent to another machine right so uh let's suppose the data has been received like 134 right and um the data has been changed it is 134 and the check digit is the same nine right so um what has what is basically uh, happened over here this particular machine is going to calculate the check digit again right so by using this data digits 
135 if it is going to calculate the check digit so it is going to take the sum of the data digits 135 and it is going to be 8 this time and after calculating the digit right by itself the fourth thing it is going to do is it is going to compare the digits compare the digits what it means that it is going to compare its particular digit that is calculated by itself with the digit that has been received with the check digit that has been received when it is going to compare both of that if they are same then it means the data is correct right it has been received uh, without an error and if the check digit that is calculated varies with the digit that has been received right in this case it has been varied so it means that the data is not correctly transmitted or it is um, just changed so in this particular example since the check digit is 8 and the received digit is 9 so we can easily detect the error we can find uh, we can say that the data has been changed and this is uh, just seen uh, clearly over here right because we have sent the data that is 135 and the received data is 134 so by calculating the check digit and then comparing them both we have uh, detected the error right so these are some of the steps or some of the things that you need to understand about the check digit method right very first thing is the digit is calculated from the data right digit the check digit we are talking here is it needs to be calcul calculated from the data digits 135 or any data digit that is um, part of your data right so it is added to the data when you are going to transmit this this digit right uh, when sorry you are transmitting the data then this check digit is going to be appended with the data or it is added to the data right this is the second thing third thing is the computer the receiver is going to calculate the digit sorry when that when you are entering the data into the receiver end right then this particular digit check check digit is recalculated by the machine and then that particular calculated digit will be compared with the digit that has been received check digit right so by comparing both the digits we are going to detect whether the, uh, the error has been occurred or not right so these, is, these are the steps. I hope they are clear to you. Now I am going to solve a past paper example with you so that the things are can be more clear, right? So moving towards past paper example. Okay, so here we go. This is a past paper example of May, June 2016 paper, right? So let's see the example. Check digits are used to show accuracy of entered data, right? We are using check digits in order to ensure the accuracy of the data, right? A seven digit number has been, has an extra digit on the right called the check digit, right? We are going to have a seven digit number and uh, along with this seven digit number, we are having an extra digit that is the eighth digit right so this eight digit is known as the check digit right and this is going to ensure the accuracy of data right so the digit positions are we have uh, total we are having eight digits one is the check digit and the seven are the data digits digits right so we are having eight positions over here and this is my digit uh, this is the actual data data digits and the last one is the check digit right okay so here what we are having a check digit is calculated as follows right we are having the method to calculate the check digit right it is as follows okay so what are the instructions to calculate the check digit very first is each digit is the number has been multiplied sorry it is not s it is n right each digit in the number has been multiplied by its digit position 
right let's suppose i am having this particular example right i need to calculate the check digit for this number then my first step would be what each digit in the number has been multiplied by its digit position okay so uh, just i am just doing it quickly uh, just uh, converting the first instruction in uh, in practical okay this is 4241508 these are my data digits and this is my check digit that needs to be calculated okay now what are the positions the positions are as follows digit positions are basically 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 and the last eighth position is for your check digit right so what you need to do you need to multiply each digit with with its corresponding position so what i need to do i need to multiply it 4 into 1 4 then 2 into 2 is 4 then 4 4 into 3 is 12 4 into 1 is 4 5 into 5 is 25 and 6 into 0 is 0 and uh 7 into 8 is 56 right so this is my first step now okay so now the second step is the seven results are then added together now i need to add all these results right so after adding it 4 plus 4 8 8 into 12 okay just add all these together and i am having 105 here okay so 105 is the result of addition now the third uh, step is saying that the total is then divided by 11 now in the third step what i need to do i need to divide this 105 with 11 what it will give it will give me um it's 9 right and the remainder here is 6 right so in the last step the remainder gives the check digit it means that this remainder when i have divided it with 11 then the remainder is basically your check digit that is 6 so this is the check digit that we need to calculate in this part number 1 of this question right now 6 is our answer moving towards part number 2 right let me share the part 2 or part b with you okay so here we go this is the part b what it says an operator has just keyed in the following number this is the number that is 3240045x right circle below correct if check digit is correct or incorrect if check digit is incorrect we need to uh, check we need to just circle either the check digit is correct or not we need to find this out right so uh, in order to find that the check digit that has been entered is correct we need to calculate it by ourselves right so uh, let's do the calculation of the check digit by using these instructions again right so the in the step 1 what i need to do i need to uh just multiply each digit with its position right so i am just writing the digits over here 3 2 4 0 0 4 five right and one more thing you need to uh understand is that this x means 10 right why because it has been uh, uh, instructed over here that if the remainder equals to 10 then the check digit is x and what is the remainder the remainder is your check digit right so if the remainder is 10 then it is the check digit uh, so you are writing the check digit as x so if it is x then it means then the remainder needs to be 10 right for this particular x so moving towards the calculation um 3 2 4 0 0 4 5 now what is the digit position that is 1 2 3 4 5 
6 and 7, right? I am going to multiply uh, this digit with the position. 3 into 1 is 3. This is 4. This is 12. This is 0. 0. This is 24. And this is 35, right? Uh, okay, after multiplying, the second step is to add all the 7 results, right? So, after adding, I am going to have 78, right? So, in the third step, I need to divide this 78 with 11. So, it is going to have uh, 11 to 7 is 77, right? And the remainder over here is, what is the remainder? The remainder is 1, right? So, in the fourth step, the remainder gives the check digit. So, what is the check digit after calculation? The check digit that we have calculated is 1. Whereas the check digit that is mentioned over here is x, which means that it is 10, right? So, the remainder is not equals to 10, right? Uh, so, that's why we are saying that it is incorrect, right? The check digit is incorrect right which means uh, if the check digit is incorrect it means that the number that has been entered right is basically incorrect or is having error in it right so this is all about check digits i hope this uh, video is clear to you thank you so much for watching it and if you have any question you can comment below you can ask any time, right? Uh, thank you so much once again. And in the next video, we are going to see the check sums, right? Another method for uh, error detection and correction, right? So thank you so much for watching. Take care. Please subscribe the channel if you haven't. Share the videos with other students as well, right? So uh, take care. Bye-bye. See you in the next video.